have a look at Hobbs. Hobbs is in a hurry here. Lewis running quickly. Hobbs down to the line. 1099. Have a look at Hobbs indeed. Fans of the sport are already well aware of the fact that Zoe Hobbs is good at her craft. But she appears to be faster than we think she's capable. And that, that is as good a surprise as any. Welcome to Just Not By Her Competitors. In fact, her peers probably do not appreciate how well she started the season, especially after a scorching run to victory in 11.39 seconds in the women's 100-meter final to light up the 25th anniversary edition of the Potts Classic in Hastings a few days ago. But just so you appreciate this feat more, let's talk about who Zoe Hobbs actually is. For those who didn't know, she is a New Zealand track and field sprinter competing in the 60 meters, 100 meters, and 200 meters. You should know that having fun with sports has always been a top priority for the sprint star, and she was always active growing up in the small Taranaki town of Stratford. By active, I meant really, really active, since as a child, she played basketball, netball, and gymnastics. However, even at a young age, it was quite obvious that athletics had always been her strong suit. Sometimes Zoe's brother would even tee up races between her and some of the older boys at school who thought they were faster than her. Unsurprisingly, she often won the unofficial duels. But it wasn't until her final year at the New Plymouth Girls High School that she decided to focus on sprinting. After graduating, she moved to Tamaki Makarao in 2016 to study nutrition and pursue her athletic dreams. Making that major decision and committing my life to moving away to come to Auckland in pursuit of athletics was daunting and quite scary, she said. She admitted that she worried about failure and was aware of the fact that there was a very high chance that that could have happened. Fortunately, the move paid off, and she soon found herself training with a strong and supportive group of fellow sprinters, headed by coach James Mortimer. From there, she rose through the ranks, so to speak. At this point so far in her career, Zoe Hobbs has been in the top eight at Commonwealth Games once, in addition to being a two-time Oceana champion, one-time World University Games bronze medalist, and a 12-time national champion. She is also a three-time Oceanian record holder in the 60-meter, 60-meter indoors, and 100-meter. More than that, though, Zoe Hobbs broke record after record in the past season. Perhaps the most accurate way to describe it is that she was on fire in 2023. The Kiwi Athletic star broke her own personal and national record five times in the year, in addition to becoming the first woman from Oceania to ever go under 11 seconds in the 100-meters. She achieved this feat with her impressive 10.96 second run at the Reese's Sprint International Meet in Switzerland. It is probably not a coincidence that this run handily met the women's qualification standard for Paris 2024. And if Hobbs makes an appearance at the Paris 2024 Summer Games, she will be the first female sprinter to represent New Zealand in the Olympic 100 meter in nearly 50 years. For context, the last New Zealand female sprinter to compete in an Olympic Games 100 meter was Sue Jowett in 1976 in Montreal. Have I mentioned that Zoe became the first female sprinter from New Zealand to qualify for an Olympic Games 100 meter in nearly 50 years after setting a personal best to win her heat at the Continental Tour Challenge meet in Switzerland? She ran 10.96 seconds in the heats at La Chaux de Fonds before winning the final in 11.13. When I saw the time come up, I couldn't believe it, Hobbs said. I didn't think I would run that time, especially given the conditions. The wind was all over the shop with head and tail wind. And because of this, Zoe didn't think that she'd be able to run a personal best in the heat at all. It was a bit of a shock when I saw what the time was, she shared. Needless to say, Hobbs has secured her spot on New Zealand's team and will proudly walk out alongside her fellow compatriots at the opening ceremony in Paris 2024. Many would agree that she's more than ready for that. As I earlier mentioned, she was on fire last season. In her opening meet of her European season, Hobbs finished with a time of 11.20 seconds at the Lausanne Diamond League. Then, at the World Athletics Continental Tour Challenger in Switzerland, she performed even better, stopping the clock at 10.96 seconds. This rapid time not only saw her win the race, but also shatter the national record. Of course, she still wasn't done making the headlines. At the World Championships in Budapest, 
the Kiwi lined up against the American in a stacked heat, which also included Jamaica's Sharika Jackson, who ran the second fastest 200 meter in history at the meet. With a heat time of 11.02 seconds, Hobbs was just 0.01 seconds away from making New Zealand athletic history as the first Kiwi athlete, male or female, to ever make a World Championships 100 meter final. She ended Budapest 23 as the 10th fastest woman in the world. She once again raced against new women's 100 meter world champion Shikari Richardson and legendary Jamaican sprinter Elaine Thompson Hera at the Zurich Diamond League in Switzerland. Hobbs ran 11.14 seconds at the event. A few days earlier, Zoe Hobbs finished narrowly outside the top spots in the women's 100 meters at Gala de Castelli 2023 in Switzerland. The Kiwi track star got up to finish fourth in a time of 11.20 seconds in the Swiss city of Bellinzona, behind race winner Elaine Thompson Hera of Jamaica, the world's fastest woman, who crossed the finish line in a season best time of 10.92 seconds. And so, armed with the Olympic qualifying time in her back pocket, Hobb says she's now able to not just race for the sake of racing, allowing her to be more purposeful about her competition schedule in 2024. The plan includes for her to open her 2024 domestic season at the Athletics New Zealand POTS Classic in Hastings. She did just that and with flying colors too. The New Zealand Sprint star has recently won the 100 meter at the POTS Classic in Hastings to kick off a big year. Hobbs extended her outstanding record at the meet with a time of 11.39 seconds running into a slight headwind in warm conditions. Making her blistering trademark start, Hobbs quickly bolted to the front and was unstoppable as she blasted to the top of the podium to claim her seventh 100 meter victory at the meet. She looked in full control in a strong field including Australian Bree Masters who finished second and New Zealand 200 meter record holder Rosie Elliott who came in third. My focus coming into today was to get those first races under my belt and to make it feel as smooth and relaxed as I could, Hobbs said. She further added, the goal today was just to run it smooth, open the season and dust the cobwebs off, so I'm glad I've got that under my belt now and a big focus towards the rest of the season now. It goes without saying that Zoe Hobbs is preparing for a big 2024. She will be heading to Europe in mid-February and will compete in the World Indoors event on the first weekend of March before returning to New Zealand for nationals. As the Paris Olympics inch closer, the New Zealand Sprint star is prepared to transition to awarding medals to potentially receiving one with her sights firmly set on gold. Speaking of Paris, this athlete is probably as prepared, if not more, as Zoe is for this year's Olympic Games. See for yourself.